Alright, so this is going to be a tutorial on how to install the CPSC client. Uh, it is very simple to do so. So the first thing you want to do, you want to download everything you need. So right here I went ahead and downloaded the CPSC master and the MySQL. So if you come here in the guide, you can click here on the GitHub page for the CPSC. And you, and you go in here on code and you go on download zip. And it's going to download the, this folder right here the CPSC master which is going to have the main code of the game and if you come here on the and you can download the MySQL folder it's gonna open a Google Drive uh, folder you just right click on it and you click to hit download and you're gonna be able to get it now another thing you're also gonna need is the XAMPP uh, so you're gonna wanna install XAMPP so I'll install the view I put the link here for XAMPP 7.4.2 so you just click this link right here and it's going to uh, give you the exact folder, exact file you need. So it's going to download after 5 seconds and once it downloads you can just open it. So I'm using here on Firefox, I'll just save this file and I'll open it right away. So this is going to be the installer of XAMPP and once you have all these three things we can start working on installing the, uh, everything. So the first thing we're going to open XAMPP. Uh, we're gonna open the installer and we're gonna install the, the program so we're opening the installer right now, we just click on it let me close this window here so a reminder this is, uh, okay if you get this it doesn't matter it won't do anything so let's just install XAMPP right here, you can put everything I'm not sure what exactly you need, you probably only need Apache and MySQL but, and also uh, you know the program languages but just to make sure I'll install everything you want to install this on this uh, directory you have to install it here or else CPSC is not going to work so make sure you just don't change anything it's, and it's gonna be fine and you can unmark this and then it's just it's just waiting it's gonna install the program and you just have to wait this to end Alright, so once you finish the installation, you can just click finish here. It's going to open the control panel. You can unmark this if you want. We, um, we, we can open it later. So we're just going to finish it here. And now what we're going to do is you're going to go in the exam folder. So if you don't know where this is, uh, it's always going to be in this folder here. So you just come here and you're going to open htdocs right here. So this is where we're going to put the game in. So you're going to you're going to get the zip file. You're going to open it. Uh, you're gonna need a program to open it. Um, most people have WinRAR, so you can just use that. And once you have this, you're gonna open this, and you're gonna select everything. So you're gonna just just select everything. Just do Control A, and then you just uh, click and drag everything into the htdocs folder like this. So this is going to take a while because it's gonna be extracting about a 800 megabytes of stuff. So it will take a little bit, actually a lot more than that. Right, so after you extract everything, you're gonna get a prompt asking if you want to replace the files. You just say you do want to replace. And after this, you're gonna be done with this part. All right. After you've done this, you wanna go back to htdocs. And you want to open this, uh, this file right here called cpscbeta4.x. After you open it, it's going to open a Google Chrome tab, you can ignore that. Um, and once you open it, it's done. So after you open that, you want to go down here and you want to open the XAMPP control panel. Panel. I'll do the English version. So after the XAMPP panel opens, you want to click here and hit to stop these two here. And what you want to do after this, you want to come to the XAMPP folder and you want to come here and you want to open the MySQL folder in here so you're going to open it twice you're going to open it and then you're going to copy this here and you're going to drag this into XAMPP uh, directory right here so you just drop it on the XAMPP folder it's going to it's going to have a conflict with another folder and once again you just want to replace it so you just wait for this to go So after you replace everything, um, the installation is done. Uh, you go back here in the XAMPP control panel, 
And every time you want to start a game, you actually have to open this here again and click start on both of these two. So the game can work. The next thing you want to go, you're going to go on htdocs and you're going to open the run.bat. It's going to open a server and you have to keep this open while you're playing. So every time you, you boot the game again, you have to open this again. And you have to keep this open while you're playing or else the game is not going to work. Every time you restart your computer, you have to come here and turn these on again. So you just open the control panel and you click start in both of these two years. It's very simple. All right, once you once you've done this, you're done with installation, and now we're gonna I'll teach you how you can uh, actually play the game. So if you go here on the speedrun.com page, you're gonna see a guide, and this guide here has a has a and this guide here is going to tell you how to install Basilisk and, and how to install an old Flash player. Once you've done that, you can just go ahead and open Basilisk. Alright, so you're going to open Basilisk and you're just going to type in here localhost. And it's going to give you, it's going to bring you to this screen here, which is the CPSC screen. Alternatively, you can use a Flash player, uh, a standalone client, which is basically just going to let you play the game on its own without having the need of a browser. Uh, there are a few limitations but it usually it actually runs a little smoother. So you're just gonna come here and you're gonna open this link right here. Uh, you just you just copy this right here and you put it on here and you put it on here so a easy way to get this is to just is to just come in here and you type localhost.play and then you and then you copy the link and you paste it here. And there you go. Now the first, now after you done, uh, after you get into here, what you want to do is you want to create an account. So I'm just gonna go ahead and create an account in tutorial, just for showcase. Uh, you're gonna click here to log in, and the first time you log in, you're gonna run into a problem. So you go into the iceberg, and you're gonna get a uh, connection problem. Uh, this is normal, this is just how SP CPSC works, so you open the game again and then you go ahead and put in the name and log in once again and the second time you log in with the same account uh, you can the account is going to be created and, you, and you're going to be good to go. Alright, so here's CPSC, it's working, very, uh, it's working just fine. And now that you know how to play the game, now you know how to install the, the client, I'm going to teach you some extra things that may come in handy. So the first thing you, you're going to want to know is that if you come here on the htdocs folder, there is a folder called mods right here, and what this is is basically it's going to, it's it's a very useful uh, tool that is implemented here and it helps you handle in mods. So if you come in here, and I'm actually using an old version, the most recent version is going to have a mod already, but once you come in here, uh, you choose what mods you're going to use. And once you click them, uh, the mods are going to be switched, so you don't have to manually install them. And once you do that, you're gonna go on whatever you're using to play the game, and you, you're going to clear cache. If you're using Flash Player, you have to use an alternative method for clearing cache. Uh, I should put that in somewhere in the guide, or if it's not there, just contact me later and I'll teach you. But it's very simple, I'm gonna showcase a mod here. So here I have a folder with a lot of mods that I had on my other CPSC client. Uh, so the one I'm gonna do here is, um, I guess I'll do, I'll do one that's very simple. I'll do the November 2011 pet shop. So this is just going to replace the pet shop. So you you put the mod there, and then you open the mod manager too, and then you're gonna come here and you're just gonna click there. So let me open the game again. All right. So if you come here and you go to the pet shop. Voila, there is go. That's the November 2011 pet shop. Uh, so this is different from the one that usually comes with it. And then, oops, using it, you can go and play Pop Launch with it, which is pretty helpful. Uh, but you know, this is. Oh, yeah, that's loud. That's just one showcase of mods. Uh, if you want to download more mods, you can come here on the speedrun.com page. Um, and if you go here in resources, you can find the link to the general mods folder and this one is going to pretty much have every mod you need so you go here in CPSC mods and then you're gonna have like all you're gonna have all sorts of mods that you can have so you're gonna have games uh, you can come here 
and you just download this and you just put it on the mods folder and it's going to work fine. That's going to be it for this tutorial. It's very simple to install ZBSC and it's very simple to use the mods. So I hope you enjoy it and I hope you can speedrun it. I hope you can use it for speedrunning. Alright, thanks for watching.